We are living in a society where people, they can engage in any type of sex that they want, but as long as it fits their needs, as long as it fits their standards of how the way they want to operate sex in, the needs and the standards for them do not include a innocent human being. So therefore, they're going to go ahead and end it, or rather I should say, kill it. Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is the Shades Podcast. Welcome. In today's episode, we will be asking the question, what do we mean when us as a society say an unwanted pregnancy. What do we mean by that? What are we actually trying to say? To me, that only sounds like a euphemism, which it is. A pregnancy is just not a pregnancy in of itself. It's like, well, what's the entirety of a pregnancy? It's a human being inside your womb. So instead of saying unwanted pregnancy, we just say unwanted baby an unwanted human being inside of my stomach, which is a pregnancy, right? We can't just simply say pregnancy and that's it. Because it's like, well, what are you pregnant with? It's kind of a little bit weird that I'm trying to explain this, but we have to because a lot of the people out here who really use that euphemism and they'll completely disregard what's actually in the pregnancy, which is an innocent human being. So in this episode, we will be completely dismantling that disgusting euphemism that we place upon an innocent human being. So my question would be, why is it an unwanted pregnancy? You know, I don't know the specific percentage of ladies who have that idea. of Because last episode, we talked about the financial argument of why I can't really pursue the child. And that can even be a point towards this unwanted pregnancy it's you know i don't want it because i'm not financially ready or i'm pursuing my career or life is just really hard right now so i'm just going to go ahead and end my child's life because of my hard circumstance and we've said this before it's just it's it's quite selfish it's quite selfish and we the shades podcast definitely feel offended by that because what if our parents decided to go ahead and take the easy way out because of their <clears throat> uh, specific financial situation that they're in. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be here. This, the Shades nope. wouldn't be here at all. Nope. So None of us. So this is, this is what happens when right. we decide to use sex in our own manner. And I say that because when we decide to use sex in our own manner, it is ungodly. It is out of the marriage perspective. So we decide we want to have sex with anybody that we find physically attractive. You know, if they have an apartment, we can get into that. And that's where we're going to go ahead and pursue. But <clears throat> in reality, that's unfulfilling. It's not fulfilling at all. There's no overall purpose into that. And the effects and the consequences of participating in that specific activity is abortion. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's God has laid out a perfect foundation for us to operate sex in. And it's you become one with a woman and vice versa. Okay. You become one with your partner who is either male or female. Not men with uteruses, not homosexuals. It's just what God says. And there's a reason for that. But for this particular reason, for this particular question, is if we step out of line of how the way God intended for marriage to be, abortions happen. There is very few cases of which a couple within a marriage and the woman within that marriage wants to end the baby, wants to kill her innocent human being, wants to kill her very own child in her womb. Very few cases. Because the majority of the time, whenever married people make love to one another, whenever they want to make a baby, they want to have the baby. Even if they're poor, aka my parents. Right. All right. So now we are living, and I don't like to use this phrase because a lot of people like to say it. We are living in a society where people, they can engage in any type of sex that they want, but as long as it fits their needs, as long as it fits their standards of how the way they want to operate sex in. The needs and the standards for them do not include a innocent human being. So therefore, they're going to go ahead and end it. Or rather, I should say, kill it. That is my standard of sex. Is I find you physically attractive. Okay, you find me physically attractive as well. Cool. Let's engage in sex. Oh, you got an unwanted pregnancy? We didn't consent to that? Yeah, you need to go ahead and end it. But wait a minute. That wouldn't have happened. 
What you're what you're about to do, and maybe perhaps what you have already done, was kill an innocent human being. Yeah, but we use pro- yeah, but we use protection. Exactly. Even if you use protection, there's there is a chance that an unborn human being can be ended because you didn't want the pregnancy. So maybe perhaps sex isn't just used as a means to an end. Maybe perhaps sex is used with. Maybe perhaps sex is used in the confines of marriage for people to reproduce and enhance their marriage through sex. But no, 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 no. I'm gonna go to step out of that, and something unwanted happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. That's immoral. So now it seems as though, like, why is this happening? That should have happened, even with contraceptives, even with anything that you want to use to prevent. An unborn human being to be brought into the world, and you kill it. That's wrong. So maybe we're distorting it, right? If sex is a good thing, but if in the outcome or if the consequences of you engaging in a particular sex act leads to death, maybe we're using sex in the wrong way. Just maybe, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe if you sit back and think about it, maybe we are using it in an incorrect manner. I mean, I feel like we have all these outlets. To prevent having a kid, it's like we're trying to pursue something without the repercussions of it. You know, we have condoms, we have Plan Bs, we have um, we have abortion. Right, unfortunately, right. so we have all these outlets just in case that one thing goes wrong. Right. Because I just wanted to fulfill my selfish, short-term, pleasurable desire for that specific night, and now I'm going to go ahead and take the easy way out, and now I'm going to go ahead and kill. A baby or i'm going to use a plan b or i'm already on birth control so there's a, a minor percentage of me actually becoming pregnant or i'm just gonna put a condom on him you know it's just it's a lot of outlets and alternatives that people are looking towards and abusing it i'd say in, in my sense yeah absolutely it's 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 very sad and it's not like let's say the pregnancy does come to term okay but let's say the mother called it an unwanted pregnancy. Let's say the abortion goes wrong. Let's just say, okay, because there are cases where, you know, um, human beings, full-grown adults said, yeah, my mother wanted to abort me, but it fails. Now I'm here. Thank God I'm here because I'm doing awesome stuff. Let's say the mother now has to stand before her child and say, hey, um, you know, I uh, called you unwanted. I called you unwanted daughter. I called you unwanted son. Because in my mind, you were just a state of being. You were just a pregnancy. You weren't necessarily a human being. So I use a disgusting euphemism to degrade you as a human being by calling you an unwanted pregnancy. But now that you're here, cool, awesome. But just to let you know that you were unwanted pregnancy. I put that label upon you. And not just me, but thousands and upon thousands of other women who are calling their very own child an unwanted pregnancy because they don't view you as a human being. But nonetheless, you're here. Cool. You see how evil that sounds like? See how I could say pathetic that sounds like to try to degrade another human being by just simply placing a euphemism upon it? There's tons of euphemisms out there, such as lump of cells, zygote, right, embryo, whatever you want to call it. Nonetheless, as an innocent human being, point blank, period. So, but for this euphemism, which to me, all abortion euphemism are, is essentially degrading what's actually in the mother's womb, which is an innocent human being. Right, right. Um, so, and then they'll even use words such as accident, right? It was a unwanted pregnancy it was an accident i didn't consent to it hey i didn't consent for you to be um an innocent human being so i'm gonna go to end your life innocent human being because i don't consent to you uh living out there and me having the responsibility and the accountability to raise you because instead what i wanted to do as you said ray was to just simply engage in casual sex without any repercussions 